At the start of the film, we see a boy named Kato, his eyes opened at an island, when he wakes up and sees that this island is quite deserted. There was not a single human there, so he begins to move from there, he didn't get anything that how he reached there. After walking along, he reached the jungle. After this, he sees a house in which Kato goes. He sees a strange sight. He sees a man locked into a drum. He was severed, beaten and locked in a drum. His head was outside, and his body was bleeding. Because of this, his condition was very bad. As he moves ahead, he sees vampires. They generally drink human blood. But these vampires were also cannibals. That is human eaters who were eating human flesh this time. They have held human parts in their hands in a bad way. They felt Kato's movement, so they began to see him. These vampire cannibals were looking quite dangerous and bloody. Their hands were big and their eyes were red. Their face was white and there was blood on their face. The next moment, they attack Kato. Their other companions also come, who take their swords to fight with Kato. Seeing a lot of vampires, Kato gets scared. He instantly comes out, as he knows that they won't leave me. So Kato also begins to fight with them. He was beating them with sticks, and pushing them away from him. Then a vampire pushes him and throws him down. Now, they all move toward him. They've surrounded him from all sides. Before they could do anything with Kato, a stranger man who was wearing a mask, and came like a hero to save him. He was having a sword. He was killing a lot of vampires with his sword, as their strength was increasing, and he won't be able to face them alone. So they also run and come to the forest. After a while, when Kato sees his face, he recognizes him that he is my friend, the one who used to study with me in my class. He was searching for him. He tells him that I came to know that you and your friend got missed. I was worried for you. That's why I came here to find you. On which Kato's friend says that you've made a big mistake coming here. Because this whole area is of the cannibal vampires, suddenly his health begins to worsen. He sits aside after turning his back on Kato. We see that his eyes also get red. He begins to talk to Kato and tells him to run from there. Please I can't control, see, I'm also a vampire. He uncovers his veil and we can see his big teeth. His face also got white. He again asks him to run away. I am getting thirsty for the blood. I'll kill you unintentionally. Knowing his truth, Kato becomes afraid and runs. Meanwhile, his companion also comes, who brings a bottle of blood with her. She gives him to drink and he gets peace. Later, we see a boy named Akira, he is the hero of this story. He also lives on the same island. He also knows that cannibal vampires live here. To fight with them and end them, he is taking training from the masked man. He was taking this training with a lot of hard work. He learns a number of challenging skills. After tough training, he finally becomes a powerful and dangerous warrior. One day, a lot of vampires attack Akira together. As our hero has many powers, he uses his sword skills. He moves his sword with the speed of light. He killed a lot of vampires together. He was cutting them and throwing them. After this, he kills everyone. Then a very giant and dangerous monster, comes in front of Akira. He has big teeth, and Akira tries to stop him with his sword. His size was so big that it was difficult for him to face him alone, he began to roar at him. Then the masked man comes to help him. The monster was about to hold Akira. The masked man hits him with a big stick and pushes him away. From the monster was injured. Akira takes his sword and fights with the monster. A fierce fight between them starts. Akira injures him with his sword. He has made a lot of cuts on the monster's body. Later, he puts his sword into the monster's head, and kills the monster. The monster and vampire's leader comes here with his companions. He gets surprised to see the fighting skills of Akira. He praises Akira. Wow, well done, boy, you've killed the big monster alone. Later, he calls him with his finger point. He asks him to be with his team. On which Akira denies saying, it can never happen because I hate vampires. Hearing this, the vampire's leader gets angry. He calls his three monsters, and asks them to attack Akira. Now, Akira and the monster begin to fight. He also hits these vampires with his sword again and again. During the fight, Akira's friend hits the arrow at vampire's leader, but he was quite clever, and he learns about this. So without seeing, he stops the arrow. He got angry and came down to that girl. He holds the girl from her neck. He bites her and begins to eat her blood. Seeing this, Akira also gets angry. So he attacks the leader with his sword. But he easily stops the attack with his hand fan. Now, Akira jumps and begins to attack him with a punch. But the leader was quite clever, he holds Akira and begins to beat him. Akira can't stand against him. The leader throws him far away. But Akira stands again and begins to fight with him bravely. He comes running and cuts the leader into two pieces. 
Surprisingly he didn't die, but his body was again fixed. He even doesn't have any scratches on his body. He was safe and sound. Then Akira understands that the leader is immortal. Who can never die so I can't kill him. The leader again holds Akira's neck, and again asks him to be with them. If you don't do this, I'll kill your friend. They were talking, and Kato's friend who saved his life, who was a vampire, attacked the leader with an arrow. The arrow hits his eyes and he gets injured. Taking advantage of this, Akira takes his friend from there. Here we come to know why Kato's friends saved their lives. Actually, he likes Akira's friend. As he is a vampire so he is afraid to tell her about this. He doesn't go in front of her, and just sees her from the distance. And saves her whenever there is any danger. Now, Akira goes to his master, the masked man. Both of them begin to talk to each other there. The masked man says that we can kill all the vampires, but not their master because he is immortal. Hearing this, Akira says that I know about a vaccine, that can also kill immortal people as well. If we give this vaccine to the leader, he can also die. Now, Akira leaves with his friends to get that vaccine. That is in a lab. The vampire leader also knows about this. That Akira and his friend left to take the vaccine. So he tells his vampire companions to take care of this vaccine. And bring it to me later, so Akira can't get it. During this time, we see Kato has come to a village where he sees Akira's brother. To find him, Akira and his companions come. Here we learn that Akira's brother is the leader of this village, he recently came from one room to another. Actually, they've locked a vampire cannibal inside. His body begins to change because of not having blood and flesh. So he became a deadly monster that Akira's brother killed. Now, he comes out to his people. Then Kato also came there to get help from them. It comes to know that along with Akira's brother, the whole village is a vampire. They have long teeth but they're not cannibals. Nor do they hunt humans nor do they eat their flesh. Now, Akira's brother brings Kato to a secret tunnel. When they were moving ahead, Akira's brother disappears, and Kato remains alone. Akira and his friend were continuously moving toward the lab. So they can soon get the vaccine. Soon a lot of vampires come and begin to attack them. Now, they also begin to fight them bravely. Everyone was playing with their sword. Because Akira had trained them. But then a vampire went ahead to attack Akira's friend. Before they hurt her. Here Kato's friend comes and kills the vampire first. And once again he proves his love here. But Akira's friend was very surprised to see, that he is also a vampire. At the same time, a very big monster attacks Akira. Which looked more dangerous, and bloodthirsty than the previous one. Because he had big and sharp teeth. And there were a lot of eyes all over his body. Because of this, it was difficult to kill him so easily. Because he could stop the attack from all sides with the help of his eyes. Akira can't control that monster. So now here his brother comes. And starts fighting the monster. He attacks the monster with his sharp rod. Now Akira had found his brother. Seeing whom he becomes very happy. After which both the brothers started fighting the monster together. They fly together and attack him. And many times they attack him together and kill him. And the monster goes down and falls. Then Akira started coming to his brother. But his brother shows him the rod, and tells him to stay away from him. Because I am also a vampire. The proof of which he also shows. His eyes were red. After which Akira came to his friends. Who were now moving towards the lab through a tunnel. They were also in the tunnel. At that time, some other vampires, who looked like zombies. They attacked them, but they were weak vampires. So Akira left his friends behind and started fighting them. He cuts everyone with a sword and kills them all. And there their corpses spread on the ground. After which they finally came to that lab. But unfortunately, many vampires attack them here too. But Akira and his companions, started fighting them showing their bravery. And with the help of swords, they cut the stomachs of many vampires. Someone's throat, someone's head. But at this time, a vampire bites Akira's friend. But Akira also kills the remaining vampires in a single attack. After which they also got the vaccine. Akira was about to leave there with the vaccine. That's when his brother comes here and shows Akira the sword. And he starts asking for the vaccine. Because he had also become a bad vampire. And began to support the leader of the vampires. So when Akira didn't give him the vaccine. But here the two brothers had a great fight. They were fighting very well with swords. Now his brother was about to put the sword in Akira's stomach. That's when his friend came in front of him. And the sword hits her. Due to which she was badly injured. Her condition was about to die. Whom Akira picks up in his lap. She hugs Akira, she asks him to protect his people, and kill these vampires, saying this, she dies. Due to which Akira was very sad. He starts crying, but his brother was not at all sorry. 
he takes the vaccine and leaves from there. Now when Akira and the rest of the friends got together, then they started hearing a voice from a room. When they went inside to check the room, then they meet Kato there. These were all his friends. That's why he was very happy to see them, and meets everyone. But then a very strange monster comes here, whose body was like a worm, and instead of the mouth, there were hundreds of sharp teeth. And the face was on the side of the head. Eyes, nose, and mouth were on the top side. That's why he could not see well around. And his face was like a human. He was crawling forward. He had a lot of legs, which looked like human hands. Due to the eyes being up, he was not seeing these people. Taking advantage of this, they started climbing the stairs and going up. But then the monster sees Kato, and opened his big mouth, and started moving towards them, to swallow everyone in a single attack. But they come up quickly, and that monster hits with the wall, and of them are saved from becoming his food. Coming up, they started walking again in the tunnel, and they see a way to go out. There was a train track and a trolley here, so to go out, they all sit in the trolley. To get out of there, they started moving forward. But after following them for so long, that monster also comes here, which now started running fast towards them. To avoid him, they throw a bomb there and make a blast. Due to which there was a fire. But the monster wasn't hurt. And now he goes to the other side. These people were very happy, that maybe he has gone. Our lives were saved from the monster. But then the monster comes from the front. And he stood up with a big mouth, to swallow them but they were lucky. Because the trap was broken from the front. Due to which the trolley jumps up, passes over the monster and goes ahead. And these people come out of the lab and fall into the water. Their lives are saved from the monster. Now Akira thinks that my brother has become a vampire. So now I should not take care of him. In fact, to save humanity from these vampires, he should get the vaccine from him. Then even if I have to take his life for this. So now he goes to his brother. After asking for the vaccine, once again, a fight breaks out between them. These two were fighting very well with the sword. For a while, the fight went on. But because his brother was a vampire, so he starts dominating Akira. He picks it up and throws it away and dies. Due to which he was injured. But still, Akira did not have the courage. He got up again. And once again they started fighting. Akira was very angry with his brother. So he stabs the sword into his brother's chest and pierces it again. Due to which he was injured enough. But he does not die. He says that after seeing your skills, it seems that all the humans will become so brave. From which I have guessed. Very soon there will be a war between humans and vampires. Saying this, he runs away from here. Akira also follows his brother. He comes to a cave, where once again a fight breaks, out between these two brothers. His brother stands on a pillar and starts moving towards him. And the pillar hits Akira's head, due to which he runs away and falls. Akira was injured, but he got up again. But then his brother comes from the side and catches him. And he had bitten Akira's neck. He was in a lot of pain. To save his life from his brother, along with him, he went behind the wall. Then he stabs his brother's eyes with his sword. But still, nothing happened to his brother. He had still caught Akira. Now a pillar was about to fall on Akira. Then his brother pushes Akira to the side, and gets buried under it. Due to which he is now very injured. Then he tells Akira that the leader of the vampires, forced me to bring the vaccine. He also threatened that if I don't bring it, then he will kill my villagers. And that's why, that's why I was doing this. And now my brother Akira please kill me. Because now I can't live as a vampire. And I don't want to harm anyone. Now Akira does not want to kill his brother. But he was not able to see him in such pain. So he bravely picks up the sword. And blows his brother's head and kills him. Now his leader, Akira's brother was dead. That's why all the villagers take their own lives and die. With the same thought. That now we are not good for humans but a loss. There the leader of the vampires with his companions, was planning to attack Akira and his people, due to which now the war between humans and vampires was certain. There Akira's people surround all the vampires and monsters, but they were also ready to fight. They had already picked up the sword in their hands. Akira had also got that vaccine, but still, the leader of the vampires comes here, who again tells him to join with him. Akira got angry and attacked him, and here once again their fight broke out. Then calmly Akira talks to him. That I had told you the same thing before. And I am still saying that I hate vampires. And see now I will kill all the vampires including you. Because now this has become my mission. With his passion, the story of this film ends here.